Well, reports say that Dak Prescott's time is ticking for the Cowboys. That was in a recent article, which got me thinking, what in the world do we need to see from Dak Prescott this season? For me, it is simple. I don't need to see a number one offense. We've already seen that. I don't need to see an MVP vote. We have already seen that. I don't need to see the Cowboys make the playoffs. We've already seen that. I don't need to see Dak Prescott win a playoff game. Truth be told, already seen that. I don't need to see Dak Prescott own the one seed. Already have seen that. What I want to see from Dak this season, and this is it, don't be the reason your team loses the playoff game. Mm -hmm. I don't even That's care if you do lose the playoff game. Just don't be the reason your team loses it. Mm. Think about Josh Allen 2021 versus the Cincinnati Bengals, excuse me, versus the Kansas City Chiefs. They do end up losing in overtime, but Josh wasn't the reason they lost. Josh Allen's performance and his play, it was above reproach. You can look at the Bills losing and you can blame everybody except for Josh Allen. I don't care if the Cowboys win a Super Bowl this year. That's hard to do. 31 teams will leave this season disappointed. All I want to see from Dak, don't be the reason your team loses. But Joy, what do you need to see from Dak Prescott this season? A miracle. If I said, what do you need to see from Kirk Cousins this year, would you be like, nah, we're not doing that today? <laughs> Joy, come on. I know it's 4th of July, but like we got other stuff to talk about. Dak Prescott is not that talented. We've seen that. He's good enough to get the team to the playoffs. Kirk does that. He's good enough to win a playoff game. Kirk does that. He's good enough to have a high-flying offense, good regular season record, win a division. And all those things are, are inherently good things. They make you a franchise quarterback. You will get paid doing that. You will get endorsements doing that. You will be the face of a franchise doing that. But we don't have to talk about you as if you are a Super Bowl contender doing that. Clarify something for me and for the viewers, because some Cowboys fan at home is going to clip off this quote. Dak Prescott is not that talented. When you say that talented, that what it? are you saying? To get to it? an NFC championship game. Forget talking about a Super Bowl. Get to an NFC championship game. Dak has been the reason why they have lost multiple years against the same team. So I, I think Dak is a, a great face of an organization. I think he does a tremendous job being the face of the Dallas Cowboys, which I think is an actually a very difficult thing to do Correct. outside of just what you have to do between the lines. Hmm. I think he's talented enough to win regular season games, to win the division, to put up big numbers, to get to the playoffs, to win a playoff game. He's done all of those things. But we talk about this team like they should be Super Bowl contenders. Why? Do we talk about the Vikings like they're Super Bowl contenders? No, we don't. We don't, because they get to the postseason and they disappoint. And why do they get to disappoint in the postseason? Hmm. I bet Slick has the answer. <laughs> I feel like I'm listening to a eulogy. <laughs> this is to you. There you for go. Dak Prescott. Um, I am not going to completely close the door on uh, his capability. I should have back this to Shady. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, Shady's going to get there anyway. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're, we'll get back to it. Um, I agree with you. He, he needs to remind me, in a macro sense, he needs to remind me more of Matt Stafford than Kirk Cousins. And I say Matt Stafford because they're getting paid the same amount, as is Daniel Jones. Mm -hmm. Those three are on par. Dak Prescott should be better. I should feel as if he's better than Daniel Jones. And no, I think he is better than Daniel Jones. I, okay. I, would, I would hope so. But the fact that I don't know that definitively at this point, is part of the problem. And, and, but in a micro, on a micro sense, simply do this. Don't turn the ball over. 15 interceptions last year, mm. 14 fumbles. He dropped the ball 14 mm. times the year before. Both of those were league leading numbers. And that goes to what Emmy was saying about just don't lose the game for me because I believe that has been a big element to why the he and the Cowboys have underachieved because Simply ball security. Just don't make those mistakes that put the rest of the team in a difficult position. Shady, you got me nervous because I, I hear notes flipping. I hear these notes flipping. I just, I just think that with, with Dak Prescott, uh, the question is, what, what do we need to see from him this what year? You need, what you need to see? Well, obviously, the obvious is like less picks. All right. Well, being serious, I, I think we need to see him be being the factor that, that wins the big games and the big moments. Every time we watch the Cowboys, when they're in a big game, a big moment, especially in the playoffs, He's the weak link. He's always losing the game for him, right? 2021 uh, against the Niners at home, right? He put, they put up, what, 17 points? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 200 yards. He had a pick. 
that was a big reason why they lost the game. Then you look back at this year when they had the Niners on the road. They put up 13 points, 12 points, something like that. He had two picks, 200 yards. He threw a pick in the, the Cowboys' red zone. He threw a pick in the 49ers' red zone. And they lost the game. Every time I see a big moment where the Cowboys are in the playoffs, he's the reason why they are losing. So for me, I got to see him go out there and actually win these games. The same way how you, you went out and you spanked up on a bad, bad, you know, Tampa Bay team. Yeah. I want to see the same thing against a good team. Mm. And get to a conference game like Joey talked about. So I don't want to, you know, kill Dak too much. I mean, the obvious is the obvious. You know, everybody's eyeballs works and they see the type of games he plays in the big moments. We need to see something different. That's all with me. But don't, go ahead. The interceptions last year were obviously a massive problem and a big part of it. But he doesn't actually traditionally turn the ball over that much. Last year was kind of a. An, I, I, I got to go lately. I don't know about. Yeah, no, no. I, yeah. And, you're, and you're right. Lately. Yeah, I don't like, know about last year years. was a disaster, yeah, but yeah, he, doesn't, yeah. he doesn't turn the ball over that much normally. Mm-hmm. So when we're talking about what we need to see from Dak, like we've seen Dak be efficient and not turn the ball over that much. We've seen Dak with an incredible run game. We've seen Dak with one of the top defenses in the league. We've seen Dak with an all pro receiver. What. We've seen Dak with a high-level offensive coordinator, an offensive-minded coach. Like, all of these things should line up to he doesn't actually have to be the best player on the field. I, I don't think Matthew Stafford was necessarily the best player on the field in that Super Bowl yep. that he won. He certainly wasn't the best player on the field for most of the season. He had all kinds of turnover issues. Don't lose the game. Don't be the reason that they lose. And, and time and time again, particularly in the postseason, He's been that. So for me, I'm like, I don't, I don't need to kill Dak. I don't, I've pe- moved past having the expectations of Dak that are unrealistic. I think he's a good player. What's fascinating for me, though, I do think, and I dare I say we've been kind of harsh on Dak Prescott only because I would say that he is unequivocally better than Daniel Jones. I would say that well, as he, says he is. Correct. Like, yeah, I would understood. say that. But really for me, and, and Shady, let me know if you co-sign on this one. Dak needs to be the best quarterback on the field more often than not. If you think about his six playoff games, he's only been the unequivocal best quarterback on the field by his play in 2018 when they beat the Rams versus Jared Goff and when they beat the Bucs this past season because he outplayed Tom Brady significantly and substantially. But outside of that, there hasn't been a time in the playoffs where you can say Dak is outplaying that opposing quarterback. And to me, you have to outplay the opposing player on your the opposing player on the other team, especially if you're a quarterback. So I need to see Dak not only don't be the reason your team loses, but like you got to be better than Brock Purdy. You got to go out there and you got to be better than Matthew Stafford. You got to be better than these guys that you're playing against. And truth be told, in the NFC at quarterback this year, there is no quarterback that should be better than Dak outside of Jalen Hurts. And if you were a Dak Prescott fan, you should say even Jalen Hurts shouldn't be better. So I thought we were at a place now where we were saying, just don't lose the game. And that to me sounds like I have to win it or that Dak has to win it because we're saying he has to be better than the other quarterback. To me, it's just don't make those backbreaking decisions or plays that end up losing you the game, putting you at a disadvantage. So this is the question I have for you guys is, do you think that Dak can be, do you think he's talented enough to be sort of the Matthew Stafford high wire act where I'm going to be a gunslinger. I'm, I'm going to make big plays, but I'm also going to make some plays that we've got to recover from. Or is he more of a game manager where if he just minimizes the mistakes, that he can do enough to get you there? For me, it's simple. Dak Prescott's no longer a caterpillar. He's a butterfly. And that's the dilemma. His rookie year, he's a caterpillar. Hey, don't do nothing. 23 touchdowns, I believe it was four interceptions. I think he may have also had six rushing touchdowns. Again, not looking at my notes, this is just what off memory. Correct me if I'm wrong off camera. But after that, after his rookie season, by 2018, then it was like, hey, Dak, you got to go light it up. A tree cannot go back into a seed. Once his mindset has flipped into go light it up mindset, mm. that's all you've seen from Dak. Yeah. That's why I co-signed what Shady said. I don't want to hear about the fact that Dak don't usually turn the ball over. 
Yeah, his rookie year he didn't. Maybe his third year I think he hasn't. But Dak Prescott has had multiple double-digit interception right. seasons because now Dak Prescott flies. He's not a caterpillar yeah. anymore. You can't tell a full-grown German Shepherd go back into being a pup. Got you. And he a full-grown German Shepherd now. He gunslinging, 4,900 yards passing. You can't ask him to go back and be safe. Remember when Dez Bryant was first in Dallas when Dak Prescott was there in 2016? You probably remember this. Dez was mad because mm -hmm. Romo would just throw it up. Mm -hmm. When Romo was a quarterback, Romo would just throw mm -hmm. it up. But Dak showed up, and Dez was like, come on, bro, just throw it up. Right. If I'm covered, I'm not covered. Yep. That Dak ain't this Dak. Yeah. Yeah. This Dak just throws that thing in the traffic. He throws it wherever <laughs> because now he is fully developed into that gunslinger quarterback. But this goes against what, uh, to me, against Mike McCarthy taking over, the, over the, the play calling. Because what were we led to believe in Mike taking it over? Which run is we're going to run the ball more. We're going to be a little more conservative, right? So it sounds like Mike's idea is to kind of pull the reins back and not have Dacky, I, and that's the, that's the direction. Ran, I feel like they, well, every time they got in trouble, they ran the ball. Thank you. So I, when he said Thank that, I, I didn't really understand. Yeah, I felt like they, they ran the ball really I, well like, last year. I won't call Mike McCarthy a liar, but no. that statement was lying. But it mm. sounds it always sounds good when, whenever a coach comes out and says we're going to run the ball. Correct. Until you look at the statistics and you're like, they be oh, running you gotta, the ball. you got to throw it sometimes. They be like, the Cowboys yeah, do run, run the ball. ball. Like, what yeah. we talk, like McCarthy said that because you need a reason to fire Kellen Moore. Yeah. And after losing, and Dak Prescott, like Shady has already mentioned brilliantly, threw two picks, and he almost threw another pick to Greenlaw coming out of his own end zone because he tried to throw a stick out to Dalton Schultz, and Greenlaw jumped it. Jumped At it. the point in which that happens, Mike McCarthy needs a reason to fire Kellen Moore. Well, what's the reason? Uh, we didn't run. Yeah, yeah, we'll say we didn't run the ball. Yeah. Tony Pollard was running. Yep. Zeke was running. Yeah. So don't tell me you don't run the ball. And on top of that, so you bring in Brandon Cooks, who's a 1,000-yard receiver, right? Yeah. You already have an all-pro and C.D. Lamb. Yep, draft a tight end in the second round. Yeah. So, like, you do all that to run the ball? Yeah. And, and your quarterback, right, is one of the highest paid quarterbacks in the league. So you don't pay a guy that much money to, to just hand the ball off. Correct. Okay, so, but Correct. here's the question. Sense. Correct. Can, with all those, with you. all those toys now, we, with all that, that talent, are you confident that Dak can utilize those pieces? That it was, there wasn't enough talent there? During the regular season, sure. I'm not, I'm not big on Dak. I think, People who love Dak, I think he's a good person. I think that's what they love about him. But when I watch him play, I don't see tons of talent. I, I think if you have a safe offense, you're going to run the ball a lot, big lineman, a couple of receivers here and there, he'd be a good fit for him. If you take the ball out of his hands. Yeah. But then again, it's like, well, if you have a quarterback that's making so much money, you should just get a rookie to do that. True. Right? The, the reason I have more confidence now than ever in the Cowboys isn't as much about the Cowboys. It's more about everybody else. Yeah. Aaron Rodgers, you all already know, he's not going to win a Super Bowl, but he's going to be in the playoffs, and you're going to have to go through him. Cowboys, unfortunately, cannot. We've seen that, I think it was in 2014. We've seen it in 2016. Aaron Rodgers is now gone. Cowboys, you got to go through Jimmy Garoppolo. you got to go through a 49ers quarterback. 49ers don't have a quarterback. So thankfully, you would think they're out the way. So now who do you have to go through? Tom Brady's out the way. It's the Eagles. Mm -hmm. Like, who do you have to you go see through? see him twice a year. Exactly. So you're going to see him for the third time. You got to go through Derek Carr and the Saints. Got to go through Bryce Young and the Panthers. You got to go through maybe Geno Smith. Give him some credit. But truth be told, I give him credit. Maybe Detroit. But you're not fair. But right. the Cowboys haven't been to an NFC Championship game in, what, 27 years? Hmm. Am I shorting them a year? Might be 28. I lost count. A long time. Almost as long as I've been alive. And Dak wasn't playing for all those years. Mm -hmm. I know you don't like to subscribe to my Cowboys conspiracy theory, but... This team is always talented. They always have a lot of talent. We can go year by year by year, go back decades. They always have talent. So what, it's the Cowboys. What you saying? It's, it's more of the Cowboys than a, a Dak thing? I mean, we can, we can go like See, compare I, I rosters I and, and say I that got, there's, other, there's other teams that have talented rosters just, and are missing pieces, and they don't get where they need to go. I don't play that game. I like to play recent. What's the most recent? Right? Because we can always, I mean, you probably got some truth to this, all them years and all that. That's cool. I think the Cowboys do have a talented team. When I, when I played them, when I was playing them, they wasn't as talented as they are now. Like, right now, they got to be easily top three most talented team in the yeah. league. Defense, defense, defense. Yeah. defense? Yeah. Oh, my God. So, my thing is, look, man, we need to see it. And every time that we look at the Cowboys, when they lose, it's one position every time. Even the, the Hollis was watching. Mm -hmm. them, them picks that was, you're showing... They was losing them games. No. Every game they lost is because of Dak. So I don't even see him in a big moment winning games. Don't, or not even win it. Just don't lose it. Yeah, yeah. Just don't yeah. lose it. Incredibly well said. I love this conversation. Well, subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.